I'm Jay Gabrielle. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a wig from Main Concept. This one is BS228 and I have this unit in the color Red Black. So at first you might be wondering why it's called Red Black when it really does look pretty red. But actually when you look closely it does kind of have some like strands of black running through there. I guess to just kind of get it more of this deep red kind of color that it is. So this unit is part of the Brown Sugar Collection. It is one of the human hair star mix wigs. I've had some of those in the past. Some of them the hair is quite good and lasts quite a while and then some of them have just tangled on me in a few weeks so we'll kind of see how this one goes. What's great about this one is that it does have a really nice long deep part and also it's Swiss lace as well. So if you're looking at this wig and maybe you like it in this color or you're thinking about getting it in a natural color you could definitely wear it like every day because it is just comfortable with that Swiss lace. So this unit comes with two combs in the front one comb in the back, it also has adjustable straps and you'll see that it does actually have some baby hairs there as well so that if you wanted to try and put it into a ponytail or a bun or something you could definitely do that. I think the baby hairs on the back need a little bit of work, they're not too natural, I don't know, I would just like to shape those a little bit more. So I would recommend you do that if you are gonna put your hair in a ponytail, but they're definitely a good starting point for you. This unit is big head friendly in the fact that it's like super comfortable. I don't feel like I'm gonna get a headache because it's too tight. However, it's not big head friendly in that I would feel comfortable like pulling it all back. So like if I just raise this side, you can kind of, you can see like my hair and then also my wig cap. So, yeah, it's kind of big head friendly, but it just depends on how you want to wear it, really. The colour of this wig is absolutely gorgeous, so The Little Mermaid is like my favourite Disney film, which is why I wanted to get this colour, so giving me some aerial vibes right here. The colour is really nice, so there's two kind of ways that you could do this if you wanted this colour and wanted to make it look a bit more natural. So you could, one, give it some baby hair, so if I was going to wear this one out, I would probably just give it some baby hairs on this side, and I've kind of what I've done is just kind of brush the hair over my baby hairs to try and help it look a little bit more natural. I haven't um, used like my gel to glue it down or anything just because I'm not in the mood. I've got a couple more wig reviews to do for you today so yeah. And then so on the other hand you could also just give it some dark roots if you want to. You can just use mascara to do that and that will just kind of help it blend with your dark roots. This unit has a really nice natural density. Also I haven't had any shedding, I haven't had any tangling with this unit and as you can see she's not too shiny so I haven't had to put anything on this wig and I think she's pretty much good to go. So I'll just stretch it quickly so you can see how long it is. So as you can see it's coming down just to like the middle of my boob. I am 5'6". It's got really nice curls in it and then it's got like a little swoop bang. Overall she's definitely a cute unit. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's wig review. Of course, I'm gonna have some more on the way very soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.